Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, <laughs> more than a month, really. But I am back. I was kind of in a rut and then, you know, things were happening with my family. There was a wedding, there was a baby this last month and it was just really crazy. So yeah, it's just been very hectic. But I am back with a new video for you guys. Uh, full face uh, get ready with me using a lot of the products I've been loving and using currently. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look for my pretty much everyday makeup routine, uh, just keep watching. And I know it's been a while and like been more than a month for sure that I have finally filmed. But yeah, so we're back at it. Hopefully I can get two film or two videos done today, maybe three. It's being really optimistic, but I just want to do a simple get ready with me with some of the products that I've really been loving and using the past month. So yeah, let's just get on to it. So I am using the new Forever Dior Skin um, 24 hour wear high perfection skincare and foundation with sunscreen and this is the matte version there's a glow version and then there's a matte version so when i saw the matte version i had to get it and it is in the shade 2n so i have my basic primer on and already so what i was sent earlier this um month like a week or two ago was the clarins um pore control serum just like a kind of deluxe sample from Influencer, and I tried it out and it actually does like minimize my pores and kind of helps my face look you know as poreless as possible throughout the day and kind of helps keep it matte as well and there's not really a lot of products that I've tried before that do that so I'm super excited that this one like really works um so when I finish this I'll probably actually buy the full size product um so I'm really glad that I got this in my Influencer package is really good but yeah I put it on like all like my t-zone and then you know because I have really big pores in this section of my cheeks and they're usually what kind of show up a lot as you can see I've been breaking out and this is the result of not washing my face at night uh, I've been so tired where I literally just fall asleep not with makeup on I have my makeup off and everything it's just I don't go and actually wash my face and my skin you know, started breaking out. So let's be a lesson. Always wash your face, especially if your skin is used to it and you're used to like the products you put on it um, and washing your face every day at like morning and night. Uh, don't start skipping on it because that's a big no-no because -no I broke out really bad. So yeah. <laughs> so now we're dipping into the foundation. I'm taking my Sonia Keshuk Blend and Buff brush. This is a really, really good brush. I love these products from Sonia Keshuk and they're you know, not too pricey. They're really good though, and you can find them at Sephora, and I love that. So I'm just going to buff all of that out. As you can see, I have like a lot of breakouts right now, and it's unfortunate, but oh well, it's life. Okay, so next we're moving on to contour, and one of the contour items that I've really been loving, I'm really into cream products uh, lately, so I picked up the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked, and it is just such a really pretty, like, not too warm, but not too cool toned um, contour color. It looks like this It's really, really nice, and it blends out so beautifully. So I just take it from on you know, the stick as long as I haven't, you know, put any kind of powder on my face and apply it that way. So and down my nose as well. I'm into more of a natural type of contour. You know, I don't want it to be super like fake looking. And I think like this one's just the perfect color and it just works so nice. I really love this product. There's so many favorites I've been loving. So I'm might be able to film my current favorites right now and and or not right now but like next um but for sure i'm using a lot of my favorites it's just not you know the full complete list of all of my favorites but these are definitely some of my really good ones that i love and would definitely recommend i just want to uh point out this brush which is also from sonia kashuk it is a domed concealer brush and I use it to kind of blend out my nose contour. It's really nice and thick and dense. Um, so it really gets like the job done and helps push that product right where I want it. And not really like make it messy. 
And then for my current favorite, or one of my favorite concealers um, that I've been really loving is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's just such a really good full coverage, not too dry or mattifying um, concealer. That's also like kind of lightweight feeling. It's not super thick. So I really like that. I'm just gonna put that on. And then I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge, which is really, really great. It's not even wet. I can use this without, you know, wetting it, and it still works really good. And I absolutely love this sponge. Any of her sponges are so good, and they're pretty affordable. I think it's like 8 bucks for this one. So I really love it, and I've been using it nonstop ever since I got it. I actually bought, like, you know, extra ones the last time I went to Target because I loved it so much. I just wanted to have like a nice little stock because I'm not trying to spend $20 on a beauty blender. I do love the beauty blenders, but to constantly have to rebuy that type of product is a little draining on the bank, if you know what I mean. I love this. And I just take it off my lid too because my lids get dark. And then for my forehead, because it's big, I try not to really highlight it too much, just like right here. And then I'm taking a thin, as thin as I can go, line down, stopping halfway, and then just doing the tip right there. To kind of make it look a little bit more upwards, you know? I don't remember the name or the terminology, so that's how I'm saying it. So now that that's nice and blended, then I'm taking, you know, a more cleaner side of the a beauty sponge and kind of just blending the contour in so it's nice and seamless but still kind of making sure it stays there and does what I wanted it to do okay and now I'm actually going to before I powder my face or anything like that I'm gonna put on some more cream products I've really been loving cream products I just feel like they make me look more fresh and kind of glowy without and the way I apply it to my oily skin you know it actually ends up looking glowy instead of oily throughout the day um, I'm using the milk makeup um, highlighter in the shade lit it's this really pretty like champagne -y kind of not a little bit of gold but it, comes out more like a champagne shade on the skin. Looks really, really nice. And when you apply it, just like I do, which is just like that. Like you see that? So nice. And when you blend it out, it turns into more of like a nice, subtle, glowy type skin product. And then I'm just taking a nice little kind of like buffing brush and buffing that in to kind of blend it out. You could also use your finger with this one. It just looks so gorgeous, I love this. And then I'm also putting some right here and some down the nose while I'm at it. Cause I'm about the life right now. Even though I know it'll get oily by itself and shiny, I just like putting some. And then because I'm just kind of doing what I normally do in my regular routine now, uh, I'm gonna keep it going with the cream products and I'm using the uh, nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Blush Color in the shade Sunset Strip. I believe this one's kind of limited edition, but it's this beautiful, like, corally shade. And it just looks so nice. Perfect for spring, perfect for summer, just to kind of just give you that nice warmth and glowy, healthy skin. So what I do with this one is I just take a um, duo fiber brush, and this one is from Morphe. It is the M427. I, you know, swirl it around on that product, and it is a lot, so I usually don't swirl around that much, um, and then I kind of just start tapping it into my cheeks, and it just starts giving you, like, this beautiful, just, uh, I love this color so much. Okay, so my, uh, video cut off because there was no more space, so I'm not sure exactly what got cut off, but... Uh, I'm gonna just say it again. So I'm using the Ben Nye Translucent Powder in the shade Fair, which is a really pretty like light pink white kind of shade. And that's what I used to just set everything. Um, so yeah, I've really been loving this one. And let's just get this going. Let me make sure there's no creasing. Okay. 
And I'm real careful when I'm setting it where I apply it because I don't want this shine to go away from my highlighter. I want to make sure it stays there. On my nose, I do uh, set it just because my nose is one of the oiliest things. So, so I don't know about y'all, but I am so excited uh, that it is finally April. That means Game of Thrones is coming back. I can't freaking wait. I just kind of set everything with this powder too. Just helps keep my face nice and matte. All right, so I don't really let it set for too long because I mean, as long as I powder it, I'm pretty good to go. And I'm not going to add any um, powder you know, bronze or anything like that. Because like I said, I like to keep it nice and natural. But whatever's left over after I'm done like dusting off that powder, I'm kind of just taking it over my cheeks and my contour just to kind of mattify it a little bit without really taking away a lot of, you know, the glowiness that it gives me because I do get oily. So I'm just trying to, you know, prepare for this to be as long lasting and good looking for as long as possible. Oh, I just love this look. This is just like one of my favorite looks to do lately. I just love cream products, I'm all about it. I didn't think I could wear them or use them before because of my oily skin, but I love it. So next, we're gonna go to brows. I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills, just, you know, brow pencil type thing. And I'm just using this fully. And I love soap brows and, you know, the product, but for some reason I couldn't buy it. I can't remember why. So. Um, one of my favorite makeup artists is Nikki Makeup, and she uses the soap brows all the time. And it's just glycerin, um, clear glycerin soap. So I went on Amazon and bought a six pack of glycerin soap, and it looks like this clear. So all I do is kind of just swirl my spoolie around. And I've been loving doing this for my brows. The other soap I used isn't as good as this one. So if you're gonna use like soap brows or do like a soap brow type of technique, definitely go for a clear glycerin soap instead of a shea butter type soap, you know? This one just works way better. I'm taking it and I'm just, you know, brushing my hairs, my brows in the shape I want them. I love that feathery natural look. So that's what we're going for here. And the soap also kind of helps darken them a little bit. So even if you didn't have, you know, like clear brow gel or brow fiber gel, this soap would just really go a long way in darkening them up a little bit to you because they kind of give that like wet type of feel where it darkens your ears up. And it really keeps these in place too. But now we're gonna move on to how I actually fill in my brows and I try to get like a nice uh, actual like individual brow hairs effect. So I'm using the end side of this Ancestor Beverly Hills brush thing and I'm taking the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in the shade 3. This is all I've been doing my brows with lately. No pencil, no pencil, no nothing. I've been using just brow powder and it works so well. So I dip it into the darker side first to fill out the outer um, part of my brows. And I just kind of, you know, do little hair-like strokes. Just to fill in any of the sparseness I have. And it doesn't matter if it comes out, you know, too dark because I blend it, like I use, I put my spoolie through it to kind of blend everything in. Usually I will do this before I put, use the gel or the soap because it does give it like a waxy feel, but uh, I forgot today, so. Okay, and then once that's done, I just take my brush through it again to kind of blend everything in and together. And I just get this nice, you know, fuller looking but still natural feathery type of brow, which I've done a tutorial on as well. If you want to check that out, exactly how I do my brows. The only thing different is the soap I'm using in this one. I will link it down below. Okay, now to just kind of define them, but not too much, I like to use my little wonder pencil um, in the shade medium. And I don't really do this super precisely because I still want them to look more natural, not super done or super fake. 
just kind of do it like that and then just blend it out. I'm gonna do this after I've you know wiped off all of the powder because then if the powder falls on it you can see it there's white stuff and I don't like that. Okay so now the eyes I try to keep my eyes really light and simple these days I don't feel like putting in a lot of effort so usually I just take whatever bronzer I have and I've been using the I've been trying to not use the um, butter bronzer because that's like my go-to so I'm trying to switch it out and you know use the other bronzers I have. So I've been using the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Nude Bronze Light. I love this one. And I just dip, you know, like a nice little fluffy brush in there. And just put it in the crease, add a little bit of dimension, some depth, you know. A little bit of something, something there. I don't want it too dark, so this is a really good um, bronzer to use. Or any bronzer that you use on your face. It's really good because it's not super, super dark. And then what I also like to do is I take my MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NC35 and I kind of, because it's more like, you know, the tone of my skin, I use it sort of like an eyeshadow base um, and I just put it on and kind of just, you know, pat it around. Kind of helps brighten up my eyelid because they're so dark like that. So you see it's like super natural, nothing too big or anything like that. And then just to top it off sometimes when I want a little bit of shimmer, if I don't want it completely matte, I'm going to be using whatever highlighter I use for that day since I used the lit highlighter. Um, I'm going to be using that and putting it on the center of my lid as well. Just to add, you know, a little something, a little bit of shimmer there to catch the light. See, it's just a little bit of a difference, but it really kind of helps keep everything nice and glowy. So I guess, I guess what you would call this look that I do these days is more of like a glowy, naturalish, healthy type of look. Okay, so now moving on to the lips. And I'm going to be using the Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC because we're going for a more like pinky type fresh look here. And this is just like the perfect pink, pinky nude, that. And then for the lip color, I am using the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the number 001. It's this really pretty um, light pink color. It almost looks like it really wouldn't put any color on your lips, but trust me, it does. And it looks so beautiful. So that's what I'm using. And then to finish off this look, I am just going to use my MAC Fix Plus or, uh, Prep and Prime, whatever you want to call it, in the coconut uh, scent, which is really good. Ugh, it smells so good. I just love the MAC Fix Plus. Can't go wrong there. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. This is pretty much my everyday kind of go-to routine. I don't, you know, like no muss, no fuss, nice, healthy-looking skin, um, and quick to leave for work. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are a lot of the favorites that I've been loving. Um, if you want a full video just on what I've been loving, how I've been using things, and all of that jazz, let me know, and I will definitely film that. I mean, I'm probably going to film it anyway. But yeah, I just want your feedback anyways. So yeah, if you like this video, remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you are always notified every time that there's a new video up and you know, you stay up to date because I'm back in it. I'm going to try really hard to get at least two videos up and be more active on my social media because I've been slacking so bad. It's just been such a crazy month. March was just a crazy month, let me tell you. But yeah, so if you want to be more, you know, up to date with anything I'm doing on the daily, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. My username is it's Alejandra Castro. I post every day. I try to post every day on there. And I think that's about it. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. And thank you for watching.